Guys, let's be real, lead generation sucks, especially if you're targeting local businesses and you're selling services to them. Now, if you're manually going to Google Maps and then copy and pasting the business's information into a Google spreadsheet, this is what you probably look like. You're doing such a boring task over and over and over again, and you're just barely conscious of wondering why you even started your business in the first place. Listen, I've been there, I've been cold calling local businesses in my area, and this was such a painfully boring thing for me. But I was wondering if there was a way I could automate this process so I wouldn't have to do this manually each time. And luckily, I found a solution to my problem, and the solution was this Google Maps lead extractor, which is this mate.com automation. It is fairly simple, but it does this very, very boring task for you and can generate thousands of leads per day, saving you hours of boring work. And yes, we're going to be using mate.com to automate this whole process. If you didn't know, mate.com is a no code platform, meaning that you don't need any coding skills to build this. If you don't have a mate.com account yet, then just check out the link in the description to create one. And in this tutorial, I'm going to take you through step by step, showing you how to build this automation out for yourself to save you countless hours of looking at a stupid computer screen. And you know that you need to get more important things done. So with that said, let's dive into the tutorial. First things first, just head over to mate.com and we can add the first step. Now, the first step is going to be extracting the 100 businesses from Google Maps or however many businesses you want to extract. And you're probably wondering, well, Ali, how the hell are we going to do this? So let me enlighten you by showing you this tool called Appify, which is basically a platform that allows you to scrape data from a bunch of different websites. It has a ton of extractors, scrapers, and crawlers that serve different purposes. As you can see on the front page, there is this Google Maps extractor. Now, this isn't the exact one that we're going to be using, but you can see that loads of people are already but you can see that loads of people are already extracting information from Google Maps so it's pretty popular and before you can use this app to do anything you do need to create an account first so just head over to the link in the description to create your Appify account anyways once you've created your account you can press this go to console button on the top right and it's going to take you to this page by default and this is the exact Google Maps email extractor that we're going to be using not only is it going to extract the businesses from Google Maps but it's also going to find their email if they have one which makes it super useful because now you have another way of contacting that lead. So to get this exact extractor, just head over to the left here and you'll find the Appify store and you can just search for the actors in the search bar right here. Just type Google Maps and the third result should be the exact extractor that I use. Just click on that. And now we can change some settings. The first setting that I recommend changing is the search term. It's pretty self-explanatory. This is just the type of businesses that you're gonna be targeting. Uh, so if it was a restaurant, it would just come up with all the restaurants. And for the location, again, it's pretty self-explanatory. If you want to target local businesses, just put your location or just a town or city that is close to you. Um, for the number of places to extract, it's going to be the number of leads that you're going to be extracting at once with the automation. So if I put 100 into this field right here, it's going to extract 100 leads and put them into this Google spreadsheet. The language you can keep as English, but if you speak a different language, obviously just change that. Um, and then for the other options, um, I don't recommend touching these, but there are two options I want to go through, which you can find if you go to the filters and precise research drop down. And then you'll find the set a minimum star rating and these scrape places with or without a website. So if you are selling Google review services, this setting would be really useful because you could just target businesses that have a lower amount of reviews. And then same goes for the scrape places with or without a website. If you are selling websites, you can just select scrape only places without a website. And then those businesses would be more in need of your services. So for now, I'm just going to keep this as scrape all places. But once you've changed all of your settings, you can just go down to the bottom and press save. Now that you've changed all of the settings, you can head back to make.com and just add your first module, which is going to be the HTTP make a request module. Just search it up and this is it. And the first thing that we need is the URL, which is going to be the endpoint. And to get this URL, just head back to Appify and then go to the extractor and go to the API button right here. Press it and then press API endpoints. And then this little pop-up will appear. If you scroll down, you'll find the run actor synchronously and get data set items. Now run actor synchronously just means that the automation is going to wait on the step until all of the businesses have been extracted. And get data set items just means that the step is going to give us all of the extracted information so we don't have to do anything else. With that said, you can just copy this exact URL 
head back and then paste it into the URL field. And the method is going to be post because this is a post request. If you head back, you can see that it says the post payload. And for the headers, we don't have to provide any authentication since the API key is inside the URL already. And now finally, we can add the actual request content. So for the body type, just select raw. The content type needs to be JSON. And then for the request content, just head back, just exit out of that. And then you can see this JSON toggle right here. Just press it. And what it's going to do is it's going to transform all of our settings into usable JSON code. So you can just copy that, head back and paste it into the request content. And you can see that these are the settings that we set up earlier. And the last thing that you have to do is where it says pass response, just set this to yes. If you don't do this step, then it's going to destroy the whole automation. So make sure you do that. And once you're done, just hit save. So that is the extracting part of the automation done. Now, all we have to do is just add all of the leads inside of this Google spreadsheet. So you do need this exact layout if you want this to work with the columns, business name, reviews count, website, if it exists, the phone, the email, if it exists, and also the Google Maps URL. You can either just copy what's on the screen manually, or you can head over to the community and go to this exact lesson, go to the resources section, scroll all the way down to the bottom until you find the Google Sheets template link. Just press on that. And then when it asks you to copy the document, just press make a copy and you should end up with this exact layout. So now that we have our spreadsheet, we can head back to the automation. Now, the next thing that we have to do before adding the leads into the spreadsheet is actually checking if the lead already exists. And if it doesn't, then we can add the lead to the spreadsheet. So you can just go ahead and add another module. And the module that we're going to be adding is the Google Sheets search rows module right here. And then for the spreadsheet ID, just search up Google Maps and it should come up with your Google spreadsheet. Just click on it for the sheet name, just select sheet one. And then you don't have to change any other settings, just hit save. So what this is gonna do is it's gonna search all of the leads that already exist in the spreadsheet. And now we can compare it to the extracted data just to make sure that it doesn't already exist. So we can add another module, just search up iterator, should be inside of flow control. And we need to iterate through each of the extracted businesses from our Google Maps extraction to check whether one of them is already in our spreadsheet. And for this, we do need an array, which is going to be the array of the businesses in the first step. But we don't have that yet, so we do need to run the automation. So if you click on the first step and then go down to the request content and just change the number of businesses you want to scrape to two, to just make sure it's an array and press save and then right click on the module and press run this module only. It should just start extracting those businesses. Okay, and we've got an output. Let's see if it'll work. Okay, we can see the data and yeah, it's an array. It's got the two businesses right here with all of their information. So we can go to the iterator module and where it says array, we can then scroll down and you can see there's a data array. Just click on that and just press save. And that should iterate through each of these results. So before we move on to actually adding the leads into the Google Sheet, we do need to set up a filter right here. Because if it searches the Google Sheet and finds multiple leads, it's then make.com is then automatically going to create multiple bundles. And this is just going to mess up the whole automation, making it run multiple times for no reason. So in order to fix this error, we're going to create a new filter. Just press this icon right here, press set up a filter. And then for the condition, this first field needs to be bundle order position variable from the search row section right here and then it needs to be equal to uh, put in the numeric operators and then just put one and then just add an or rule and this one needs to be bundle order position again uh, and then just change this to does not exist and then once you've done that just hit save remember to save your automation from time to time by pressing this save icon right here because make.com does not auto save unfortunately anyways now that we've done that we can now move on to actually adding the lead to the spreadsheet so just add another module just search up the google sheets add a row right here for the spreadsheet id just select your google sheet sheet name sheet one and now we can finally add all of the information about the business in the spreadsheet. Hold on, let me just move that. Okay, so for the business name, just select the title variable from the iterator. For the reviews count, just scroll down a bit until you find 
the reviews count variable right here for the website oh it looks like i misspelled it um just scroll up and you'll find the website variable for the phone just select the phone unformatted variable for the email just scroll down until you find the emails array right here press this little arrow and then press one it should look something like this and finally for the google maps url just select this url variable right here and once you've done that you can just hit save now we just need to add a filter here that's going to compare the existing leads in the spreadsheet to the extracted leads from google maps to make sure we don't get any duplicates so let's just set up a filter and the condition is just going to be the title variable from the iterator text operators equal to um, and then if you scroll down you'll find the business name variable in the search rows section just click on that and this is just going to and this is just going to check if the business already exists depending if the business's name is already in the spreadsheet we can just label the filter new lead question mark and then once you've done that just hit save so ladies and gentlemen that is the whole automation it's a pretty simple automation but i assure you it's going to save you countless hours of looking in front of that computer screen and by the way if you wanted to know where to get the pre-made google spreadsheet all of the resources for this tutorial are in my community called automation academy and if you go to this lesson and scroll all the way to the bottom you'll find the exact make.com automation that i built in this tutorial so if you just click on it and then press download Head over to yourmate.com, press more, and then press import blueprint, choose file, select the blueprint file, and then hit save. You're gonna get the exact automation imported into yourmate.com in seconds without ever having to manually set this up. In my community, not only do we have an automation library, full of tutorials like this one, which also contain all of their resources. We also teach you the fundamentals of no-code platforms and allow you to network with a bunch of other builders that are in the AI automation space. So just click the first link in the description if you wanna check out Automation Academy. With that said, if this tutorial was useful to you, just go ahead and like and subscribe. And I hope this make.com automation made your life a bit easier like it did to this guy. You can see that he's pretty flipping jolly that he found a solution to his problems. So if this is you, just again, subscribe for more automation tutorials. And if you had any issues while setting this automation up, just let me know in the comments so that I can respond to you as soon as possible. And yeah, guys, keep building, keep automating, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.